Alrighty, hello guys, look at me faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are looking into our B36, or our mini B36, or, or whatever this is. Um, what I want to do today, okay, is I want to go ahead and use this thing. I want to put in some cameras, okay? So, I need some cameras for some turrets that we can put on this thing. I did put a turret on the back previously, so we'll end up using that. Um, I'm assuming that we can use this room, we can have like a little dude sat in here with, um, I guess he could be sat facing backwards and have some monitors in front of him and he can control all of the guns. That seems like a good idea. Whether it'll work or not, I'm not so sure. We need like little, uh, commands that'll turn on each gun or whatever, but, um, yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. Alright, so let's go ahead and fix something that I've been, oh, it's been bugging me for a little while and I've just remembered it again. These little windows are all the wrong colour. But there we go, we fixed those, that's good. Uh, if we go this way and we bring it to here, we need to put in a seat. Okay, so we'll end up doing that and we'll put some um, monitors back here as well. Okay, so before we actually put the seats in and stuff like that, I'm gonna paint this room. I, d I don't like all the yellow being on the walls, so we're gonna get rid of most of the yellow in here. We're also gonna actually jug the roof a different color as well, because, um, I don't, I don't like the roof being yellow as well as everything else, so, um, yeah, we'll leave that like that. There we go. Oh, is that done on, yeah, it's done the whole inside of there. Uh, let's paint this like this. Bam, and bam. There we go. Good. Did I do the same thing on this side? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and put in this pilot seat. Here we go. Do this and put it right there. That's nice. Alright, cool. We're gonna go ahead and make like a little table for it. There we go. We'll probably end up actually putting in some buttons and stuff on there. Uh, but that's okay for right now. Then we're gonna go ahead and do this. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the monitors all the way back there, I guess. Yeah, cool. Uh, we do need to be doing this on both sides, so we'll go ahead and turn on this mode. There we go. Good. And we'll fill in this on the bottom as well. Good. Let's go ahead and get some monitors. Moni mon monitors. There we go. Don't know which ones to have, to be totally honest with you. Maybe two by twos, and then we can connect them to each camera, which is going to be on each gun. Uh, we want them to be the right way up, so we'll go ahead and do this. We'll do that. There we go. And then we need, like, a, something by three. So, like, a five by three would work. Five by three definitely would work, but it... Wait, is this... This is it? Wow. Uh, it's a bit big. It is a little bit big. Um, right, okay. Delete these. We can probably fit it just about in here. Here we go. Put it up against the wall. Spin it around. Flip it, flip it, flip it. And put it right there. There we go. So that one's going to be sideways, but it shouldn't really matter too much. All right, that should be okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put some buttons in here. We're going to do them two with that and one in the middle. Here we go. And if you're wondering why I'm putting buttons in, it's going to do every monitor. I want them all to be on separate ones. Uh, I don't really know why, but there you go. We can put all of these right there. That's all good. Okay, so, so far, so good. We're going to go ahead and connect all of them together. That one's going to be for the middle one. That one's going to be for the bottom one. That one's going to be for the top one. Same on this side, bottom and top. There we go. Fantastic. Actually, make sure that goes to there. There we go. Uh, they all need their own little power, so we'll go ahead and connect them all to this button in the middle. And then once they're all connected to the button in the middle, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll connect the button in the middle to the battery, which is... Oh! way over here. There we go. Good. So that's all nice. To get to this monitor st uh, stage, though, um, <laughs> we're going to have to crawl through there, which is a little bit poopy. But you know what? At the same time, it's it's all right. Uh, we need some rotation guns. Um, so we need five guns, apparently. Uh, we're going to have to have a gun underneath the dude with the, uh, with the cameras, uh, a gun above him, a little bit further forwards. This gun on the back should turn a little bit. And we should also have one somewhere else, or maybe two somewhere else. Yeah, we need a lot of guns added to this thing. Okay, so firstly, let's go ahead and grab ahead a pivot thingamabobby. One of these, that'll do. There we go. Good. We'll go ahead and shove this on the top right here. Somewhere like this. That's good. That'll be our first top gun. Nice. In fact, actually, no. We're not going to put guns. We're not going to put guns. We'll just have random cameras so we can see around ourselves. Seems like a better idea, I think. Um, we're also going to put a camera right on the back, and in fact, actually, we'll delete this, and we'll put a gimbaled camera there. Alright, cool. In fact, we don't even need these, then. If, if we're going to go for gimbaled cameras, we don't need these things. We don't need them at all. Yeah, we don't actually need them things anymore. Alright, delete these, and we'll literally put gimbals. Here we go, so we can actually see what we're doing on the outside of the plane. 
Let's delete that really quick. We should probably plug in any holes that we make in, in the in the process. There's one there. We go ahead and put one underneath. Right there. We'll put one on the tippity top. Right there in the middle. That's good. And we'll put one on the side at the front. There we go, like this. Yes. Okay, cool. We need to connect all of those up to uh to the to the monitors. Okay, so here we go. The video. The middle one is gonna be uh this one. It's gonna be the main camera. It's gonna go right there. Good. It's gonna be a little bit sideways, but that's okay. Uh we can probably change that actually. Alright, that one's gonna be the top one. In fact, actually no, this should be the middle one. And this should be uh the top, and these are the back ones, and then these ones will be the front ones. There we go, that one's gonna go on that side. This one's gonna go on this side, this side, and they should all work, presumably. I don't know. Let's go inside and we'll check them out. All right, so let's go ahead and run and jump inside. Someone suggested that we flip this upside down. Now we did do that in a video, and it didn't really go too well, so that's that's why it's this way up. Um, the wheels. Oh, maybe the monitors are heavy. Maybe the cameras are heavy. I don't know. Um, but basically, we've ended up folding backwards, which is not the best. Anyway, we'll go through the bomb bay. That's fine. There we go. And if we sit in this seat and we do this. We get the back camera sideways. Uh, if we do this, we got the camera on the top. Do this, we got the camera on the bottom. Uh, no, at the front. We got the camera at the front? Yeah, this one's also the camera on the bottom. This one's the bottom camera. This one's the camera on the front. Okay, so they're all like random uh, orientations right now. Uh, the camera on the back, if we can somehow turn it so the up is sideways, presumably it'll sort itself out on my monitor. I'm assuming. I don't know, but I'm assuming. If we go ahead and we attach that to there now, and we attach this to here, there we go. That should be fine. I I, I think that'll be okay. We also might as well delete this light because there's not going to be anyone back here. You can't see anything back here, so, yep, we'll leave that like that. Can we paint these a different color? That thing. I don't think we can. I think the cameras are just black. Unless we can do it with this. No, I think the cameras are just black. That is a little bit annoying because uh, we're going to have, like, massive black cameras all over, uh, but that's okay. Uh, right, okay, next, 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 next. We need, I, I mean, I guess we could just hook them all up and they'll all move in random directions. Um, whether I want to see it do that or not, I'm not so sure. Don't really think so, uh, but we're going to go for it anyway. So, there we go. And in fact, actually, if it's on reset, it should be okay anyway. So, we'll put them all on pitch. That one's on pitch. That one's on pitch. This one's going to go on pitch. Uh, there we go. Same with these ones as well. They're all going to go on pitch too. Um, pitch. There we go. And pitch. There we go. Good. So they're all attached. That's all good. We'll then go to the next one and we'll do all of those, which is A and D. So left and right is going to be pivot. There we go. Pivot. Beautiful. Pivot on this one. Yep. And do it on the same on these ones as well. Pivot and pivot. There we go. Beautiful. That should be all of them. So we should now be able to move all of the cameras. They're not really independent though, which is a little bit poopy. I wish I did make them independent, but at the same time, it's a lot of work for not really too much gain, if I'm honest. So if we do this, it's the right way up now. Yeah! There we go. And we can twist it. We don't really need to twist the back one. So we might just take the twisting off the back one. It'll be fine. Okay, let's have a little look at these ones. Whoa, that is, that is something else. But you can totally look all the way around your plane with this if you wanted to. That one's, why are they half, whoa, look at that, they've moved over. That's weird, I wonder why that's happened. Look at that, that's super strange. I don't know why they like that, I have no idea why they like that. That's weird. Anyway, we got a little camera room at the back now, Um, which, you know, Kind of works. These two are in the right place. That one's in the right place. That one's just... I don't know what's happening with these two. So we'll leave them alone for now. I do kind of feel like we should make them a little bit better. Uh, meaning that this is actually going to be turned this way. So we can actually like turn them around and point them that direction. We should also then turn the monitors at the back sideways. And then we'll have them all at least in a nice orientation where we can see them clearly. And know what they're actually looking at. Uh, so these ones are both going to point forwards. Uh, whenever we use pitch or backwards, they can go either way, which is nice. Um, we need to do the same thing or a similar thing with this one, which is actually A-OK. -okay. That one's good. Uh, same thing with this one. That one's fine. And this one we need to remove um, the ability to look up and down or to, to twist. So uh, we'll do all that and I'll get back with you very soon.
Okay, so I'm still really confused as to what is going on with these two screens. They, that one's going upwards now instead of sideways because I've turned it around. That one is the front right camera, and you know what? That is perfect. That's exactly what I want. Um, but yeah, the rest of it, don't know what's going on here. I have no idea. Uh, what I thought of just now is that we can actually send uh, data from the back of the plane to the front of the plane um, with like different displays on it kind of thing so we can actually switch between all five of these if we wanted to at the front which i think is a good idea so we'll go ahead and do that um and yeah let's have a little look see how we can do that so we'll have a little display somewhere up here where do we want it though <laughs> where do we want this display to go let's let's go ahead and put it on the other side of this so we'll go ahead and put a display right there uh we only need a two by two so we'll go ahead and get a two by two We'll get a monitor, and we'll shove it in there. Here we go, two by two. Actually, we should do like a big one. We should do a big one. There we go, like this. There we go. Yeah, monitor, I want a big one, five by three. We can literally go ahead and shove that in there. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. There we go. All right, cool. Let's put it back how we found it, so it was there like this. There we go, good. Yes, now next to this, we're going to go ahead and have a button. Okay, that's going to be able to turn on the monitor and turn it off. Down here, we're going to go ahead and have a one of these. We're going to have a small keypad. Now, in real life, I guess you'd just be able to wire this. And I guess we would be able to wire it. But instead, we're going to send the signal uh, straight over to this. Because that seems like a cool idea. And I like it. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we might as well attach those together. Right, cool. So if we type in a frequency on here... We should be able to receive it from the back of the plane, and it should show one of the five cameras, uh, whichever one we, we actually plumb in. So, let's go ahead and get some antennas and see what we can get up to. Okay, so I can't really remember how to do this. We're going to go ahead and just put a receiver on the back end of this. We'll just put it right there. That seems like a good place for it. Bam! Alright, cool. And that is going to connect directly up to the, uh, the, the screen, the monitor. So if we go ahead and we do this, we can literally connect it directly to there. Fantastic. So, whatever this receives, this gets. Alright, cool. Now, the receiving is going to be whatever we plumb into here. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and attach that to there real quick. Nice. Alright, cool. So, we're going to receive whatever frequency we put into, into this. Now, it could be one, two, three, four, or five, because we're going to have five cameras. They're all going to have their own little frequency, uh, which is a good idea. I don't know whether we have to go ahead and plug in five of these, or maybe we could just go with one. But if we if we need to plug in five, we could just go one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Select each one of them. Put a little number uh, on top of them. Each of these numbers is going to be one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Fantastic. We'll go ahead and merge them together. So that's going to be this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. All right, cool. Then the logic should say the video one is going to be this one. Video two is going to be this one. Video three is going to be the top one. Video four is going to be the bottom one. And video five is going to be the back one. There we go. As long as everything's got electricity, which it doesn't currently, this should work. In theory. Um... Yeah. Alright, let's try it. Here we go. Spawner in. Yes. Very good. Now, if we go ahead and we... I don't think we even have to turn on the monitor, to be honest, at the back. We can literally just delete this. Turn this on. Say number one. Bish bash bosh. There's camera number one. Alright, cool. And then we say number two. There's camera number two, so this is the other side. If we go for camera number three, this is the top one. Camera number four is the bottom one. And camera number five is the back one. There we go. They're all at random angles because I have to turn around the monitors at the back. But I can't really do that with this one. Um, but there you go. We've actually plumbed in a nice little monitor. In the next video, though... What I am going to do is I'm going to hook up all the lights to a bunch of buttons and hopefully this thing will be lit up and look beautiful. Uh, we also need to put a little bit more weight in the front because, um, yeah, we got a little bit of an issue here. Someone did suggest that we move the wings forward a little bit, but as you guys can see, there's not a lot of plane uh, like in front of the wings already, so I kind of want to keep it 
uh, where they are, where, where the wing is. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. Anyway, I am going to leave us here for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.